No one will be losing sleep over this video. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 slumber party themed TV episodes. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're paying tribute to television sleepovers that have gone incredibly wrong for our entertainment. Be warned, there's no keeping secrets at a slumber party, so spoilers are to be expected. Is she supposed to go that high? Her friendship is too powerful! <laughs> Number 10, Slumbering with the Enemy, The Powerpuff Girls. Oh, girls, look who's here! Your friend, <gasps> Mojisha! Don't you just hate party crashers? The Powerpuff Girls are having a slumber party, but they wind up with one uninvited guest. Suspecting that Mojo Jojo is up to something diabolical, the trio keeps their eyes on him. But as the night progresses, it begins to look as though Mojisha really did just come to party. Of course, too good to be true, Mojo Jojo shows his true intentions when he grabs a vial of Antidote X and uses it to incapacitate the young heroes. There's one thing Mojo didn't count on, however, being caught in the mother of all pillow fights. In a nice twist, ordinary girls are the ones to rescue Townsville's heroes for once. So for the very first time, the day is saved, thanks to the normal little girl. Number nine, Slumber Party Panic, Adventure Time. Tonight, we are all going to have a slumber party. What? Princess Bubblegum's plan to bring back the dead backfires, and she unleashes a horde of zombies that are coming to devour the Candy Kingdom. While she looks for a solution, she orders Finn to keep the candy people occupied with a slumber party. And she makes him royal promise not to tell anyone what's really happening. No, Finn, you have to royal promise. Finn successfully keeps them occupied, but accidentally reveals the truth to Jake, and thus is forced to face the consequences of breaking his royal promise. You have broken a royal promise, for which the penalty is trial by fire. Everything turns out okay in the end, but it's amazing how dark a slumber party can get when you break a promise. This sleepover is bizarre, out of control, and honestly makes for the perfect introduction to this unabashedly insane series. Oh, you are adorable, but keep your promises, okay? I will, princess. Number eight, slumber party, full house. And there's no way I'm going to that dumb honeybee slumber party on Saturday. Sadly, some scars never fully heal, and Stephanie feels the pain of losing her mom all over again when her troop holds a mother-daughter slumber party. Becky offers to go, but gets car trouble. And so Joey takes her place. Oh, look, it's Malibu Barbie. Like total Barbie aerobics, dude. <laughs> Despite his shortcomings, he tries his best to make the night fun for Stephanie, which proves harder said than done. The makeovers prove too much, and Stephanie walks out. Fortunately, when you live in a full house, there's always someone there for you. And big sister DJ saves the day. Striking a perfect balance between laughs and heartfelt moments, Slumber Party was a classic example of why we love this series. How would I look in your passion plum eyeshadow? It's you, babe. <laughs> Have fun, girl. Bye, guys. Bye. Number seven, Sleep Over and Over, The Fairly Odd Parents. Awesome! It's been shown that sleepovers can make or break the strongest friendships. Timmy's planning a sleepover with Chester and AJ so they can watch a TV special of their two favorite superheroes meeting. Unfortunately, a clash of opinions leads Chester and AJ to have separate sleepovers, with Timmy stuck in the middle. And if you're, you're not, not there, there, you're, you're not, not my friend, friend anymore. anymore. He tries to wish himself back and forth between each sleepover, only to see both fall apart. Block, 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 well, block, it's block. official, both their sleepovers stink. Wanting to make peace, Timmy concocts a plan to have his two best friends put aside their differences to rescue him from a fake emergency. That quickly turns into a real emergency. They're reminded what really makes for a good sleepover. Great friends. Yeah! Number six, fatal distraction, saved by the bell. My life is being threatened by one of your students. If someone spies on your slumber party, don't get mad, get even. The big dance is coming up, and Zach is desperate to find out if Kelly wants to ask him to go. This calls for another one of Zach's schemes. He and Screech bug the girl's slumber party in order to get some useful information. Yes, yes, the moment of truth. Unfortunately for him, the girls catch wind of Zack's scheme and concoct a plan of their own, revenge. They scare Zack into thinking Kelly's mentally insane 
and everyone gets in on it. Kiki wants to kill me. It was a valuable yet hilarious lesson to all young male viewers. Invade a woman's privacy and face the repercussions. Will someone please call 911? <laughs> Number 5. Overnight Success – The Loud House I get to have a sleepover! Living with 10 sisters doesn't make hosting sleepovers easy in The Loud House. However, Lincoln is determined to host the best one ever with his buddy Clyde. He has the whole night planned, but Clyde seems to be having more fun with Lincoln's sisters. Lincoln isn't too thrilled. The sleepover is officially cancelled! Not wanting the night to go to waste, Lincoln tries alternate sleepovers with his other friends, but no such luck. Yeah! No one can handle the loud house like Clyde, mostly because he's an only child who doesn't get much sibling fun. Lincoln learns from his ways and recognizes that Clyde's willingness to hang out with his sisters is actually a good thing. To the best sleepover ever! Best sleepover ever! Yeah! yeah! Number 4. Look Before You Sleep My Little Pony Friendship is Magic We'll have a slumber party! I've always wanted one of those! What's better than another classic My Little Pony lesson about friendship? One that involves a sleepover. Bad weather forces Rarity and Applejack to take shelter in Twilight's library. So Twilight decides to make the most of the situation by hosting her very first slumber party. Hooray! Slumber party! Twilight's excited to do everything by the book. But she doesn't account for one thing. Rarity and Applejack's constant squabbling. Their fighting takes all the fun out of the evening. And it only gets worse when they're hit by the storm. Fortunately, the two are able to make amends and put things right. Showing that even two ponies at odds can learn to embrace each other's differences and be friends. Not bad for Twilight's first slumber party. Who's up for another slumber party tomorrow night? Number 3. Shake, Rattle, and Ray – That's So Raven What about an old-fashioned slumber party? <laughs> What's more annoying than having a mean girl on your back? Being forced to make peace with said mean girl. Unfortunately for Raven, it's make amends or get suspended. And so, a slumber party is planned. At first, things actually seem to be going well. Alana even starts opening up to Raven. Between you and me, Raven, it's the only slumber party I've ever been to. Unfortunately, a psychic vision spells disaster for the party and backs Raven into a corner. Trying to keep things from getting weird doesn't work, but when the disaster strikes, it's laughed off as a prank, and Alana is impressed. That was so... cool. <laughs> It just goes to show what kinds of friends you can make at a slumber party, provided you don't mind them getting even after the fact. <laughs> Number 2. Operation S-L-U-M-B-E-R, codename Kids Next Door This mission is for girls only! Girls? Curiosity gets the better of Number 4 when Number 86 recruits him for a girls-only mission. Disguised as a new girl operative, Number 4 infiltrates the mission, which turns out to be a slumber party. After a whole evening of rainbow monkeys, makeovers, and truth or dare, a nefarious scheme is brought to light. <laughs> Thankfully, the kids next door are always one step ahead of the teenagers, aren't they? She's got the count module! Number 12? Why? While number 86 can be annoying, seeing her get betrayed during her first slumber party is a memorably heartbreaking moment reminding us that a sleepover is sacred to any kid, even one who's a secret operative. She was the closest thing to a friend I ever had. Before we unveil our number one episode, here are a few honorable mentions. Okay, everyone, let's go upstairs. Hey. Anytime, sweetie. Yeah. Okay, she's still warming up. Here we go. This is happening? Seriously, Dad. Uh, Dad, yeah. is this real? Number one, your time is gonna come. That 70s show. Because, lady, you do not know how to throw a slumber party. Taking the number one spot is this slumber party that no one could forget. Kelso's girlfriend, Annette, is in town and is staying with Donna, according to Kelso. Not wanting to be alone with blonde Jackie, Donna invites regular Jackie over for a pajama party. The boys envision how the slumber party will go. Yeah, they were way off. 
Instead, it ends with Jackie and Annette actually bonding, to Donna's annoyance, and an untimely death in the Foreman family. The grandpa's on the ground, he's not moving. But wait, there's more. Jackie also blurts out her true feelings for Kelso. Get off my boyfriend! Needless to say, it was an unforgettable slumber party, one that proved to have numerous repercussions. Goodbye, Michael. Wait, but you win either way! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.